Good morning everyone. Today I'm on the edge of Stafford and going to wire up a workshop for a farrier. So I will take you inside and you can have a look. If you want some IP rated sockets around, a couple of LED strips, feed put in from the fuse board. Um, it's a work, motorbike workshop over the road that's I wired up a couple of years ago. So I'm going to uh, take the feed off that, bring it into here. They brought some ducted in for me next door. So terminal three core armoured. Um, I'm going to put that into the fuse board. The guys turn up in a little bit, run me through where we want to position for different things. A um, couple of IP rated sockets, four LED strip lights, IP rated, everything's going to be running armoured, clip direct. So it should be a nice and neat job. And then uh, I'm going to do wholesalers in a minute and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, been the wholesaler, got most of my bits, a few things coming on Monday. I am fitting a two way Hager board for sockets and lights, metal clad, 18th edition. So I'm going to get that on the wall, get it leveled out, and then I'm going to start taking conduit and armour from it. So let's get started. What I'm fitting in here is the, the BG Storm range. Uh, so I've got the BG Storm waterproof switch and double socket outlets. They are IP rated uh, 66, so it'd be perfect for in here. Now I've got my switch on, the board on. I'm going to get some uh, lines across up. So I'm going to do flexi conduit down there, so we'll bring the power to the switch. From the switch, up to the first line. Finish off the switch. So we've got the switch on the wall, cleated around, flex seat conduit, uh, some metal all round band as well for support, board on. The light fittings actually I haven't got yet. The supplier is giving them to me on Monday. So they're going to go in then. I can't really do size wise. So I'm going to make a start my sockets, go around, drill the sockets on, get them in place. And with these sockets as well, there is a drain point. No, it's not that one drain point here so we always cut that back out so any moisture whatever gets in the socket it will just pour out the bottom instead of filling the socket up On, done over there, down there, down there. So I've got 2.5 mil three core armored. So I'm going to pull a big length of that off, pull it round, find out roughly where we're going to be running, put some cleats in. Um, originally, I was going to run a 20 amp radial circuit for the sockets, but after speaking to the guy, he, he's going to be using a few power tools and whatnot, not all at once, but be on the safe side. While I've got enough cable, I'm just going to make a ring, stick it on the 32 amp, and then that'll cover it for. Higher loads. I brought this little device earlier, uh, first time ever. I thought I've got loads and loads and loads of armors to gland off and make off, so why not invest? Uh, it's called the Armored Slice. I did butcher the box a hell of a lot trying to open it, but that's uh, that's it. And it makes cutting armored and glanding off a hell of a lot easier. And I've just given it my first go and very neat, very nice. So I will get some footage of it now for you. And that's it. Slip the gland on, strip that off, put it into the board.
Ring circuit's done now with the armour clipped. Across from the board, down, up across, done the run above me, across down to here, and back again straight to the board. So I'll get the board landed off and we'll go from there. Finished now today, sockets are on, clipped, fronts are on, over there, so happy with that. Next time I'm here, the light should be here, so to this side, to that side, IP rated, uh, twin LEDs, uh, they're going to come down to the switch, as soon as that's all on I'm going to run, I've got a 3 core 10mm armour that's going to come from the other side of this wall, across to the other room, going to go across the 3 face board which I put up about last year. Connect up and uh, that should do it, so I'll see you next time. Right, day two, we're back here now. I'm going to get the 10 mil 3 core, run it across the far side, put on my drum, pull it back and uh, see where we go with that. Right, we're over back in the other workshop now. There's the uh, three-phase board I put in a while ago. Uh, drum of cable there. So our plan is we're going up, over across the top of these, all round band across the top of these big beams, all the way through, all the way through. Just over that far side by the door, there's a ducting that goes down underneath the concrete and back up into the far side where I am. So I'm going to start getting this pulled and uh, I need to get my bigger ladders out of the van first and get up there. Got my cable taped up onto there. A few joints, some tape, cable ties. That's my ducting. Let's go in under this floor. and it pops up just there. So, I'm gonna give it a pull. So what happens here on the ducting, instead of it being a swooping pipe that they've laid, it's actually down 90, across 90, up. So I've got it down the first bit and everything, but it's just got caught on this. Let me see if you can see it. You can see down there. It's just got caught on the on the upward bend, on the upper 90, so I've just cut the top of that off so I somehow hopefully get my hand stuck in, pull it up and then it should be all right. Right, that was a pain in the ass. I ended up digging it out because it physically wouldn't go around that right angle bend, so good job so pull the rest of that up now and then i'm going to find out where i need to drill through there is a brick missing so i might be able to pop it up through there to the other boards but uh we'll have a look The 10 mil feed is now at the board. I'll plan that off tomorrow when I'm back. All the way around, it's all clipped all the way to the top. It's all round band all the way across, back down the far side. So I'm gonna lock up here and then we're gonna head over and get the start on the lights. Okay, me, uh, my lights have just turned up from the supplier. I've got four of them. These are the, uh, the Ansel Tornadoes. Uh, they are 40 watt each, I think they're twins. Uh, IP rated 65. So uh, let's get one open and uh, have a look. Okay, so durable plastic clips here. Beautiful. Dual strips go in there. Uh, some clip it in here. Right. We've got a bit of bag with a few glands in. So what I'm going to do with these, because these are going to go straight onto the wooden beams, is 20 mil hole either side. That's the flexi conduit is then going to gland into one, go into that, back out the other side to reach light. Um, 
Yeah. Four lights are up now. So I'm gonna run the flexi conduit from the switch here up and across the first one. I'm gonna pass it all the way through, back of the wall, and back through to that one. So. Fittings are up, flexi conduit up, over to the other side. So I'm going to start stripping them back. Switch is wired in now, so I'll show you that. So linked out the earth, in and out, and also just in the back box for good practice. Neutrals, feed in, feed out, and then your common and your switch cable go into the back so yep I'm nearly ready to connect up now cables are all in um, just wanted to mention one thing that I've started doing recently is any fuse board with accessible space around it I've started fitting emergency life in uh, they're not expensive at all I think it's about 15 quid or something like that so um, yeah I've got a hole on the side that's gonna go there um, drill up there and I've wired this loop this feed straight from the board I'm gonna wire that straight in and then the, be the first point will be the emergency light fitting on the circuit so uh, I'll screw that on. Right, what I'm doing here, I thought I'll explain to anyone that's not an electrician watching. Uh, these are called banjos, and they sit under your locking nut that is now connected to your uh, grinding kit at the top. And what that's for is, this is your normal armor cable, so you've got your multi-core cables inside, another plastic sheath, and you've got your metal um, armoured around so that spirals around the outside and that's added protection to the cable itself with this that banjo there when you put this into the earth bar this then earth this metal um, outer casing that then protects it so if anyone goes through it with a spade or anything normally if it was to go to straight through it would hit the earth uh, the, the, the live terminal you'd get a shock but it would always go through the earth first so it would protect it and trip at the board before fingers crossed you got a shock so that is the reason for these uh, these earth fly leads coming off the uh, the landing kits that is to earth the outside of the armor cable Boards on, wired up. We have a 40 amp, 40 amp, 30 milliamp RCD here because it's run off another board. I want to lower the amperage to make sure, if anything, this tripped before the main board if it's inaccessible. So we've got 32 amp uh, Type B breaker for the sockets, uh, 6 amp Type B for the lighting. Um, the emergency lights on. It's a PME system. It's run off a PME from the main farm. So I've tested it already in the other unit. Um, the ZE is, 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 is really good to be fair, but because this is distance away, being a PME system, if we ever got a loss of neutral at the source and we still got the live, 
it means there's no earthing around here. So I've put in secondary earthing. So I've put an earth spike in the ground, which is here, just in case the worst case scenario happens, there becomes no earth, then at least it's got some form of protection and, and the RCD will still trip. But that'll be tested separately to the main earth as well. So now this is all done, the cover on, and I'm gonna go to the main board and wire that in there. Right, I've just been across to wire the main one in, but I'm not allowed to get any footage of it because quite a few people working. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'll try and take a picture of it, put it on the screen, and then uh, well, we'll turn this on, liven it up. Power's all on now, uh, lights are working, sockets are on, board covers on, labelled up. I'm just going to do some testing, fill my forms out, and then on the way home. So I'm all done now, uh, really happy with the job, went really well, really enjoyed it to be fair. Um, a bit different for me, normally I'm uh, in working in houses all the time, so uh, if you enjoyed it too, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Ta!